Team Aquatic Virus. It sounds like a superhero movie, but in reality, it's just a group of scientists trying to save the marine world. Their lowest lane, the starfish, or as they call them in the science community, sea stars. Two years ago, Dr. Ian Hewson learned about an unknown sea star wasting disease and brought samples back to Cornell University. Certainly this is the most extensive outbreak of disease we've, we've seen by far. As of right now, there's only one or two species on the West Coast that have not been affected. It's called the Denso virus, and it moves quickly. It even kills some species in a few hours. Uh, they start off as healthy, obviously. Uh, they start to show lethargy, so they start to become slower. Uh, and then they start to show lesions, uh, usually beginning at the point at which the arms come together. We call that the armpit or interradial tissue. You usually get lesions along the actual arms uh, on the central disc, the middle of the animal, and then eventually the arms start to split off. Team Aquatic Virus has looked at thousands of sea star samples over the last year, including ones like this, the sunflower sea star, which has been the most heavily affected by the virus. Jason Button was excited to join the research team because Cornell's marine program is relatively new. I mean, it's surprising that Cornell does have these programs because we're inland, we're by lakes more, and uh, we, like, there's sort of a hidden marine biology program. There, there's, there's no marine biology department. Houston knew Button was an animal science major and asked him to join the team to help dissect the samples they gathered. Um, we essentially cut a cross-section of the leg uh, off. Um, we wanted to split it down the middle and get, like, a half of a subsample. So you'd kind of cut in on the tube feet a little bit um, and then try to get a thin layer that included some salomic fluid, some epidermis. Yeah. Uh, we put them in what's called bead beater tubes. Button then puts the sample into a machine that separates the DNA. This helps him pinpoint the virus. Right now, the die-off has affected marine life from Alaska to Baja, California. But it's possible the disease could spread further. This is not just affecting the West Coast. Uh, we've noticed also that on the East Coast and the Gulf of Maine, uh, there's also been disease events as well. But why should the general public be worried? Sea stars are pretty important to their environment. They're top predators. They eat a lot of mussels. So they're disappearance of environment is going to drastically impact the area that they live in. Sea stars are keystone species, which means their disappearance affects the food chains they belong to. But Button says many people fail to realize their significance. Whether that means that your vacations are going to be different, like the seashore will look different when you go to the west coast, or whether or not it has completely disrupts the ecology of the environment, you should definitely care about it. Team Aquatic Virus has solved the mystery of the disease, but their work is not done. Right now there is no cure and the environmental factors that cause the disease are still unknown. Emily Dick, NCC News.